he would be driving along. He'd be like, here, quiz me, quiz me, quiz me, <laughs> quiz me, quiz me. And he'd hand it to me and I would be like, ugh. Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Grip. Mike here. So today's video is a little bit different. As you see, I have my beautiful wife here with me, Catherine. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is the cost of getting your license. Now, if you've seen my past video, I've already talked in details in terms of the monetary costs, but this video is about other costs that you may not even think about, especially if you are married or if you have a partner, because it does cost something or it takes a toll on your partner, you know, whenever you're going through your training and then you have all the ups and downs and whatnot. Unless you're a hermit and you're completely solitary, you live by yourself and don't talk Some to any other like humans. That. If you're like that, then great, this video is not really for you. But if you have any close contact with human beings who are friends or family, you're going to need to recognize that those people are going to go on your pilot training journey with you. Everything that you go through in terms of your your disappointments and your you know victories and all of the different hurdles that you have to jump on the way to getting your pilot's license, the people who love and support you are going to go through those things too. You might be flying every single day <laughs> for and you're gone literally for like six yes, hours every I was day. Gone for a long there was time. literally periods of time where like. I would get up to go to work and he would already have kissed me while I was asleep and left and then I get home from work and he was still not there and I had to you know go about the evening get ready for bed and then he'd be walking in the door so it was literally like you had another job right basically <laughs> no, that so was that was that's what it one was. of the things that you have to take right. into account is that if you have some people in your life that you need to spend a lot of time with you got to take into account that you're not going to be home very much. And the other thing yeah. other than just like your time commitment as far as like being out of the house, right. the other thing is the energy commitment. So it's like maybe you're you are only training a couple of days a week. Whatever energy you had before you started pilot training is going to be you're going to have such little energy for anything else <laughs> really. If you're really taking your training seriously like he did and you're you're flying every other day right you're you're gonna be exhausted you're not gonna have much time for anything else on a day where you fly that's gonna be your day so then yeah. that leads into the next thing which is you don't really have time for the people in your life you don't really have energy for the people in your life but the third thing is you 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 don't have the uh, emotional flexibility for the people in your life <laughs> which, which by that I mean you can often be stressed, grumpy, and frustrated to the point where if you do have the time and energy to spend with your loved ones, you might not be acting like yourself. You're, you're an ass, basically. No! That's what, she's, that's what no. she's trying to like walk around. It's like finals week when you're in college or whatever. It's like finals week because you're just like, you have so much pressure on you. Like not only the pressure to get your pilot right. license, to learn what you're learning, to remember what you're learning and get to that point quicker. It's like you also have this sort of pressure of a financial burden on yourself yeah. because the longer it takes, the more you have to continue to pay for this thing. So there's a lot to me, there was a lot more that went into it other than just, hey, I'm going to my training for the day and I'll be back later and that's it. it I do think that the emotional part of it would have to do with personalities, you know, someone who uh... is, because when I think of myself, okay, if I think of myself, I get obsessive. You know, with That's true. literally anything that I'm but doing. But you have to be passionate to right. want to get your pilot license. Right. To I begin get with. I get very obsessive and I remember during that time of training it was literally all I talked about. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> we could not get in the car to drive and go somewhere. He literally would bring I'm gonna find it right now. It's, it's Where, is the... it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the day? I think it's it's in the drawer. It's this in drawer? the drawer over there. Where? No, I think it's maybe in this one. Watch out for the Yes, oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> this mother. <laughs> this, this stack 
of my cards. My box. This was his set of flashcards for his pilot thing. And I swear to God, I probably know a third of this. So basically, whenever we would get in the car to go somewhere, Mike would bring this and he would be driving along. He'd be like, here, quiz me, quiz me, quiz me, quiz me, quiz me. And he'd hand it to me. And I would be like, ugh, because it's so boring to me. I know. And I, he literally I got to one point where you were like, Hey, babe, can you grab my flashcards as we walk out the door? He was like going to crank up the car, and I was like, Yep. And I forgot them and didn't say anything. We were halfway to where we were going. He was like, oh, Where are my flashcards? And I was like, Yeah, she totally Oops, I forgot them. No, but. <laughs> Accidentally I mean, we, we, on can, we, can, we can laugh about that now, but that was. It that really was, helped. So that's one thing I would say for sure. That if you was do a have a support group, definitely. Reach out to whoever right. is a loved one for you and ask for help. Make flashcards if you need and say, hey, can you read me these questions from my test book or whatever? Definitely ask for help. When you're in a relationship and you're doing this then it does affect it takes a toll yeah it affects i think especially ones, for people you know. who maybe are older and you have kids or right. you know kids are in college or something like that i think that it just is something to consider definitely that your right. loved ones are going to be involved in it in some way even if it's just for me a huge part of this that i didn't even mention earlier was the Fear of I was gonna talk the about terror, that. <laughs> like, like I had to give him to God and just be like, either he's gonna die on a motorcycle or he's gonna die in the air or <laughs> in on the ground trying to get in the air. And it was just like, I, it was kind of like a spiritual experience for me. And I wasn't even doing anything. I was like letting him go. I was like trusting that, you know, like I, I when I kissed him and he was going out the door to the train. It was he was gonna come home and if he didn't it was out of my control you have to think about like not only the emotion just mostly the emotional toll of what's right. gonna happen to the people that you love who are around you watching you go through your training honestly it's that's something you should think about that's something I never thought about period until she she, actually, was she, she 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 brought it up to me you know I just thought hey I'm following my passion and Think about it this way, I was taking, most days I was riding my motorcycle to to flight school and in LA traffic were 45 you know, minutes to an hour. Yeah, it's crazy. In 100 degree weather. Right, so I never thought about, you know, some of the safety stuff that I need to worry about or that she worries about. Oh my so God. until she brought it up to me like, you know, I'm scared shitless sometimes when And you, I feel like once a week he out. would be like, hey babe, look at this article about this airplane. And I'd be like, oh, what is it? And he'd be like, yeah, they, they died. <laughs> if you have these things in mind, I think it will make the process not only easier for your loved ones, but because it's easier for them, your process will be more enjoyable and easier right. for you because you can, you know, plan for these things. Sit down with your loved ones and be like, I'm gonna start my pilot training and it's gonna be rough on me and I you know I want you to you know be my backup and the, I think that our entire process together with him getting his pilot license was it led to the first time you took me out to fly just the two of us right. and like your heart was beating like a hummingbird I was like, nervous so nervous but the and thing she was, was the calm one <laughs> I was so peaceful and calm I was like if at this point he don't know how to fly, then that's that. But I, it was like I almost like I really trusted that of all the studying and the hard work that we've done and all the hours that I know he's fit in a plane, I felt like I just completely trusted him. Right. And, you know. And that helped. That I helped. I had to just that enjoy helped, it. So I you did. know, calm my nerves down because I'll be honest, you know, I was very nervous because the only passion that I had had until then was the, another the only, pilot. Yeah. Was either another pilot or an instructor. I've never mm -hmm. had someone who didn't know how to fly. If he had uh, passed out, <laughs> right. that would be that. Right. I am James Bond. So, so I was very <laughs> nervous, but she made the whole ride even so free for me because she was calm as a bird. Well, I don't know if birds are calm, but she was very calm. <laughs> That's what my friend thought of at the time. Uh, but she was very calm. And, flying? Like, and, and, I mean, I and, guess a bird in the sky would be calm. Yeah, no, it? and obviously the, the weather also helped that it was a oh, very was nice, a really nice day. day. So, it was beautiful. But I would say, like, to, to bring this all to a close for you to be a part of this video. Oh, it was my idea because I think, right. uh, I mean, you know, 
shamelessly promote my own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know so that. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that, it's a perspective that you can't get for your channel just on your own. You can't tell them what right. someone that they are going to be around during their training process you can't tell them what that person is going to experience. Right. You can only relate pilot to pilot, you know what I mean? Or put to potential pilot. So I really wanted to put this perspective out there for you guys. It does say, help when you have someone with you uh, on the journey. And obviously making friends with all the pilots definitely helps. Definitely. You know, meet with your instructor outside of school. I, I was lucky enough to have someone who was willing to do that for me. Shout out to George. Um, but uh, other than that, it's it's a journey. It's a journey, and for those of us who are so excited that we don't think of the time commitment uh, or the emotional commitment and things like that, you have to consider those things. But if you haven't started, please do start and watch a lot of my videos. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've made so many videos just talking about uh, the process alone. And I'll continue to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I think that that would be it. But before we go, I do want to put a plug for uh, Catherine's channel. Why don't you tell them about your channel? Because I can't, I can't really. Well, I have two original songs that I wrote and made music videos for. Those are my most popular videos right now. But okay. I have some other like funny like vlog videos and stuff. Just me making stuff that makes me laugh. So if that seems interesting to you, then go ahead and head over and watch some of the videos. Leave a comment and be like, hey, Mike brought me here or whatever. <laughs> oh, but also the other thing I wanted to say to kind of wrap up my point is like, uh -huh. don't let the thought of potentially disturbing the lives of the people around you, don't let that deter you from going out and starting to train if that's your dream. Definitely try to rope in as many, you know, support people as you can, but don't let it scare you. I mean, at the end of the day, you can just remind them that when the zombie apocalypse happens and we all have to run for our lives, that they would be most likely to survive with you next to them because you guys can just, uh, Keep talking. you guys can just go hop in an airplane and fly to Jamaica. There won't be any zombies over there. I don't know there, why so. she always thinks that <laughs> Make sure to stop at Walmart and get plenty of canned items and, and but, bottled water. Yeah, so All you guys way. definitely check out her channel. I'll leave a link below. Subscribe, even if you're not totally relatable to whatever she's putting out. She, she's way more prettier than I am, so just watch because of that. But uh, that said, um, we're thinking about doing a live video Q&A for yes. this. So as a follow-up, uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, do we have a limit on questions they can ask or it just has to be pilot related? Mm, there's a limit. <laughs> and I think people know what those limits are. Listen, I just Don't say... Don't be a 12-year-old boy. No, I'll say... If you uh, are a 12-year-old boy, you can't help it. Um, everybody else. Uh-oh. Uh, we, we got a knock on the door, but we're going to end this now. If this is your, just, just she's gonna say peace, but make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.